We're the Fung Brothers. We love our country, but not its food. American food is overprocessed. Can't do it. And overpriced. So to change our minds, Hungry is sending us to work, play, eat, and t- Did you read this? In Texas? I don't know, man. Whatever. This is the Fung Brothers mess with Texas. All right, honestly, man, if I see another buffalo burger that's supposed to be the house <laughs> special, but it's not even good. Dude, if I eat another rib. Oh, what's up, hot white girl? That I'm not sick of yet, though. Man, I'm, I'm ready to eat seafood again. I'm ready to eat Chinese food I'm ready again. Ready to eat sushi again. I'm ready to eat Korean food again. I'm really glad we came out here. I'm glad I we met, met a the lot people. of great people. Dude, the people out here are super cool. Phenomenal. And I still. Oh shoot, hold up. I don't. I don't want to eat any more testicles. Says, whatever. I don't. It want says, it. gentlemen, you've had plenty of opportunities to cook and prepare your meals. Today, you learn to catch it. Head over to Trail Waters, learn the good old art of fly fishing, then go to All Shucks to fry some seafood. Happy fishing, gents. What? We are fishing. We're fishing today. Okay. What's up? What's up, guys? How are you doing? Travis? Travis. Andrew, nice good to, to meet, meet you. you. Ready to fish? We are ready to fish. I uh, have been wanting to fish since I got here to Texas. We, we had this idea that we were gonna be in like the backwoods, rural, yeah, big Maybe lake. a roaring river or something. We get here and it's, and it's just a man-made lake inside of a suburb, a brown ass, algae-filled piss puddle. Back and stop and then a forward and stop. Travis gives us a fly fishing lesson, so we hit the waters. We're trying to catch fish. All right. Come on, fish, like you know better, shit. I see the fishes, I see them stalking, they're just not biting. Oh shit, is that a fish? Oh shit. What is this, like a, like a goldfish or sea bass? Hey Travis. Yeah. I caught a fish. That's one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. <laughs> is this gonna make it on the cover? What's, 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 the, what's the magazine? In Fisherman. In Fisherman. <laughs> I don't want to brag too much, but we've been out here for about over two hours, and I'm the only one that's caught something, including Travis. Look at this guy. Can't catch a thing to save his life. Oh, crap. Fuck. Oh, shit, that shit's hooked on him. Let's go. Me, within the first 30 seconds, I'm reeling at a big one. Fish tend to gravitate toward lures that are thrown by real men. They take my life. They don't want somebody fishing in Uggs. I don't have an Armani fishing rod. I just keep it regular, so that's why I catch fish. Oh! Woo! <laughs> I got it. Yeah, hey, the boy. other guy's running away. Check that. The other guy's running away. He got help. Yeah. So I... You didn't even catch that, did you? Yes, I caught it. Did you, did you have Ask assistance? Him. Did I just put my line in and I caught it? That doesn't count, man. If it wasn't for him, okay. this guy over here, I saw him, he has a wife and kids. That's a real man. <laughs> This guy smells like armpit, not this little guy. This guy smells like Versace cologne over here. <laughs> no way. Not bad. Only a real man catches a fish. Oh, shit. All right. There's no way. Man, all this fishing got me craving some seafood. Aw, oh, shucks. We're at aw, oh, shucks. Ready to eat some fish. Walking to aw, oh, shucks. We meet Matt. He takes us straight to the kitchen. Welcome to our giant kitchen here at All Shucks. Oh, Whoa. it's huge. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, guys, if you can hand me that towel, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, Whoa. it's lovely. We go to lift up that towel, and then right underneath it is a living crawfish. He's trying so, to hug you. Uh, you guys ready to cook some crawfish? We are me? ready. We're going to add our own crawfish seasoning. What's in this? Is this secret sauce? That is our secret recipe. Put it in there. So he shows us how to season the water that they cook the crawfish in. I should definitely be cooking with the tank top on, right? Right, it's yeah. It's a really good idea. Minor health code violation, yeah. but that's all right. We take all the crawfish, including the women and children, and we toss them into the boiling water. That's it. We're going to cook that for about eight minutes. Get a little crawfish here out of the pot. Wow. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little more of our seasoning. Put oh, the lid on that. It. Shake it up a little bit. Shake, shake, shake the crawfish. Above your head shake like the crawfish. Like, shake, shake, shake the crawfish. 
You gotta shake it harder than that. Matt introduces us to all shucks oyster shucking contest. Whoever shucks their oyster the fastest gets to prepare the other guy's oyster to eat. Oh, all right, so okay. you, we so can you put any any of the condiments any condiment on it. You want. So you guys fired up? Each put on a right, right, let's on... do this. Gentlemen, are you ready to shuck? Come out fighting on three, two, one, go. Carefully go. <laughs> I never found the sweet spot. You're like, no. <laughs> wow, really? I didn't even get my knife into the oyster at all. I didn't, I wasn't even close. All right, so I just put horseradish, four different types of hot sauce. We got an entire slice of lemon, as well as some uh, saltine crackers on there. For like the first three seconds, it's not bad. And then it just goes crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that his mouth was sending signals to his butt saying that it was a wrap. All right, well, Andrew's dying over here, but I think he's going to be OK long term. So don't spit in there. <laughs> so far. <laughs> Dude, this red snapper is on point, though. Out of all the food that we've had so far, where does this rank on your enjoyment? I think this ranks at the very top. Are you sure it wasn't the beef testicles? You, that's when you know David's eating good. Look at that. Yep. Oh. oh, yeah. David, how do you feel about the overall taste of things? I thought the crawfish, a little salty, but solid overall. Oysters, I like these oysters. I thought they were pretty fresh. As far as the red snapper goes, it's really solid. I liked how they, they made it a little bit higher end on the catfish than a lot of places, and they clearly care about the seasoning for their crawfish. One of the most important factors, price. So for all this food, the bill came to a total of only $60. For fish and crawfish and oysters, that's a pretty good deal. So the real question is, would you come back here? I would. Me too. Aw shucks, thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs>